so i would request uh, as per k swaminathan to speak with a big round of applause for entrepreneurship a very good evening to one and all i said good evening actually in the debate it there will i'm sure most of you would agree from the morning everybody has been talking about entrepreneurship innovate entrepreneurship innovate kadasila or kelvi kepangala public service poringala vela poringala entrepreneur it's a very meaningless question at this point of time but however between the three of us we have already discussed outside the court and the match has been fixed whether i speak or not the match has been fixed yeah and you know what the answer is also anbu thambi romba alaga unna pannar evlo per inga ias povinga ips povinga naalukku vela kudutha appadina ariya per adukku dhaan kai thookunanga enna ivanga la engineering college la ipo vela senjittirukanga adunala if they were all startup owners sitting here and you ask them would you go back to your uh, a government job or to employment you would have said or you would have got a 200% no and i am a standing living example of that i have been an ias uh, you know uh, civil services aspirant myself natraj sir knows that very well and he did say i told him sir romba paithiyam irundha sir epdiyad ips aayirunu nte but uh, prelims clear panna sir mains clear panna interview po mudiyala my dad passed away unfortunately i couldn't join the civil services abdin sonna avar thatti kudutha sonnar you were fortunate my boy abdinar inge irundhu pesanona oru sila topic kudutha adukku dhaan pesi aaganum that is different ena shivkumar kup soltar ninga indha topic dhaan sir pesanum vera edhum maathi pesa koodadhu abdinte but result um modalle soltar entrepreneurship favor ah dhaan irukka maari dhaan pannirukrom abdinu sollitar what next for the youth of india is it employment is it public service or is it entrepreneurship there is one more or two more options uh, getting married is one last option the easiest thing to do there is one option called higher education today you know what higher education in this country i am sure most of you sitting here as educators would agree is only the one and only means of postponing unemployment campus la vela kadikala ஆஃப் கேம்பஸில் வேலை கிடைக்கல என்ன பண்ண போகிறேன் எம்இ பண்ண போகிறேன் எம்டெக் பண்ண போகிறேன் எம்பிஏ பண்ண போகிறேன் அதர்வைஸ் தேர் இஸ் ப்ரிசைஸ்லி ஒய் ப்ரபிளி ஷிவ்குமார் சேட் வி வில் லீவ் அவுட் ஹையர் எஜுகேஷன் எஸ் அன் ஆப்ஷன் தேர் இஸ் நத்திங் டு பீட் ஆண்டர்பிரனர்ஷிப் டுடே லெட் மீ டெல் யூ த கிக் தட் யூ கெட் அவுட் ஆஃப் சால்விங் ப்ராப்ளம்ஸ் சார் ரொம்ப அழகாக சொன்னாங்க த கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ரிஃபார்ம்ஸ் தட் தமிழ்நாடு பப்ளிக் சர்வீஸ் கமிஷன் ஹேஸ் சீன் அண்டர் ஹிஸ் லீடர்ஷிப் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி ஹேஸ் நாட் சீன் he was talking about getting several lakhs of applications from different parts of the state and processing them manually munadi la eppadi pannonu nu theriyama irundhirukku now it is all at the click of a button you can do it and i'm very humble enough to say only some entrepreneur developed that solution for them yeah you required it and we gave the solution we are all here to solve your problems and we do create problems as well once in a while that a part yeah coming back to entrepreneurship in india there has been no better time than now than today you look at papers 2 years before 3 years before 10 years before look at the newspapers today every newspaper which is worth its name or its brand has a story on entrepreneurship at least three such stories every other week everybody is talking about entrepreneurship everybody is talking about startups of late once you become an entrepreneur you sell off a few companies life la enna pannano nu theriyadhu so adanal nanu vandu eludhalama ena i started writing in hindu tamil enak inda kovai patti pidicha or romba inda inda kongu mandalatha patti romba pidicha enna nu ketta most of the queries who write back to me are from this region only because this region by gene there is entrepreneurship embedded in each and every one of you here are few professors sitting here who have written to me saying sir in a college la velaya pidikala sir epdiyada entrepreneur aamudiyuma na avanga per la na inga solla mudiyadhu i have told them to vote for me at the end of the debate avladha today the opportunity is fantastic if you get a job yes go ahead learn something for one or two years but come back and pursue entrepreneurship we need people who will create jobs sir was talking about hdi human human development index how does 
somebody's HDI improve? It improves when the quality of life improves. When does quality of life improve? When your purchasing power improves. When does your purchasing power improve? When your salary is more. When is your salary more? When there are enough jobs that are created and who creates those jobs are we entrepreneurs and none others. We don't do any job, that's the different issue. The topic is not that, so I'm not getting into that today. So long as there are problems in this society, there are enough opportunities for entrepreneurs to solve those problems. The Student Innovation Awards this morning, a fabulous manifestation of how brilliant the kids today are. Completely different from what engineering graduates were 10 years back, 20 years back. I'm sure most of you would agree. When such brilliant ideas are there, maybe he is exactly right when he said, maybe only 7% said, an entrepreneur is a dill. Not the 99% can have it. My invitation here is only to that 7%. All that I am placing before you is one very simple thing. If you can inspire your kids to pursue entrepreneurship, <clears throat> The miracle that is waiting to happen called India will very soon happen and there is no doubt about it. If there are three major qualities that we inculcate in our students today, in the youth of today, I think we can create a wonderful ecosystem that would nourish entrepreneurship. What are those three? How much are we encouraging them to take risks? I am brilliant idea. Somebody came to me. And I'm not going to go to the house. I'm 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 going to go to the house. Now, there is a senior person. Maybe there is a senior person. Maybe there is a senior person. Maybe there is a senior person. He will go to the house. 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 You are not here. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Problem solving abilities. Can we create opportunities for problem solving? No problem is solved with a structured approach. Most of the ideas come from, you know, totally unexpected sources. How do we nurture? How do we create an ecosystem within the institution which will, you know, nurture problem solving capabilities? And most importantly, being an entrepreneur is not as easy. You need to be responsible and accountable. If you ask me what is that one quality that anybody should develop immaterial of being an entrepreneur or an employee or a public servant is the ability to think like an entrepreneur. The latest subject doing the rounds across the world is called entrepreneurial thinking. Just Google entrepreneurial thinking and you will know. Of course this 4G doesn't work so well inside as they promised. So Google it outside. Yeah. Entrepreneurial thinking is the order of the day. If we can create this ability of entrepreneurial thinking in each and every student of ours, not at the college level, maybe at the school level itself, I think we have done what is necessary. What is the US doing? They are all recruiting us with fat salaries. We are all very happy about, we are all thinking we are all very brilliant. We are all great coders. You know the truth? Not that they can't do coding. They don't want to do coding and they don't want us to be innovating. They want to innovate and they are ensuring that we are engaged with coding. So that you don't take time to innovate. The more I allow this country with such a fabulous demographic dividend to start innovating, the US knows that they are nowhere in the race. So what do I do? pay them fat salaries and ensure that I engage them completely and continuously with coding. That's what's happening. We're talking about entrepreneurship, we're talking about business, we're talking about, we all don't need to think of starting or, you know, becoming another Google or becoming another Apple. That's one thing that I hear from students, sir, how do I become the next Google? I saw a simple, very small team of three members, three or four, I don't remember. They came to me with an idea, a very brilliant idea, I would say. 
these guys have completed their engineering, have got absorbed in some multinational companies. Because of their exceptional skills in coding, they have been given the job of training those new joinees after them in various skills like Java, C, C++, you name it, they said so many things I didn't understand. Yeah. What these boys used to do, I believe, was to teach them not in English, not in Tamil, but in Tanglish. In a manner, in their native language, so that they understood what this whole programming was all about. And the more and more they did that, they started mastering this and they have created a platform. I think one of the boys is sitting here, he's from the Park College. Yeah, I think the name of the company is Guvi, if I remember right. A brilliant product that can teach almost all of the computer languages in as simple native language as possible and they can learn anytime from anywhere. Brilliant idea. The colleges are all just rushing to buy those products. That's the kind of a demand because it is solving a very big problem for them. If such problem solvers are available for this country, for this state, for this region, I think our aim of entrepreneurship is achieved. We have a very big dream of becoming India's. In fact, I, I, I used to say this very often. My daughter has just gone to KG and uh, she was very busy uh, this January uh, for getting ready for uh, a parade. I asked her, what is this parade all about? Appa, in uh, the Republic Day celebration in school, I am going. Oh, I said, good. But you should come back and tell me what happened. Then she said, they gave sweets, they hoisted the flag, everybody marched and one uncle came and spoke and he said, India is a developing country. India is a developing country. And my daughter is in KG, you know, they are saying the same thing. It's almost a generation now. India is developing, developing. When do we develop? Are we here to produce machines? Are we here to produce people who will just go and work for others? Not really. So I'm not saying that everybody should become entrepreneurs. Then what will people like Purushottam do? They need to come and recruit, right? Yeah. So I'm saying inspire that cream to become entrepreneurs, to become problem solvers and that is purely in your hands. And the beauty today, as I came here this morning, I got a Facebook share. Yeah. Facebook has become one such a uh, addiction today. A friend of mine said that I lost my uncle in a tragic road accident today. Within three minutes, 200 likes. Yeah. Anyway. This story is a very interesting story and I thought, wow, how relevant it is for today's topic. With this story I'm going to finish and I leave it to you to decide. Public service, employment or entrepreneurship. Here is the story, the story of Ramasamy and Madasamy. Ramasamy passed B.Tech and placed at an MNC during campus recruitment itself. CTC was 4 lakhs, his relatives, family, Friends wished him success. A few of them already offered their daughters for marriage. That's it. Ramasamy's face glowed like a Petramax light. And he thought himself, from today, every day will be happy. Don't mind the language. That's how it came and that's why I'm reading it. Yeah. Madasamy, who was sitting right beside Ramasamy, failed in the degree. All his relatives, family and friends blamed Madasami as everyone there said, see Ramasami is studying B.Tech, he has become such an intelligent man, he is getting four lakhs and moon veru ponnu kudukuraan sultanga, ni yellatilin fail. He did not know what to do. Suddenly people started giving him suggestions. Ni idli kada open banne, ni dosa kada open banne. You put pan shop or you sell milk. His father was very much embarrassed. Everyone gave him suggestions to sell idli, dosa, open a pan shop or sell milk. Now what to do? Madasami went to his mother. Amma, I am going to go to the house. 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 Loan Vangi, Madasami went and bought four buffaloes. 
Yes, it says four buffaloes and started milk business. Ramasamy, the B.Tech, bought a bike with his credit card and started to office. But Madhasamy with his TVS 50 went very shy, very embarrassed. He couldn't even Ramasa see Ramasamy eye to eye. Ramasamy would say, hey mate, how are you? This fellow will just shy away and go. Six months passed away. Ramasamy had cleared 20% interest over the bike. But the actual bike price of 80,000 still remaining outstanding. But Madhasamy cleared 1 lakh out of his 2 lakh borrowed money. Both faced each other. Ramasamy gave a small smile thinking that when he will clear, when he will clear 80,000. Madhasamy also gave very narrow smile by thinking about I have one more lakh of loan to return to outside. One year passed away. Ramasamy put hopes on salary hike. Yeah? They thought the industry would be very good. NASCOM would recommend a very big hike that year. Yeah? But suddenly due to recession, the company mailed to Ramasamy that your salary has been cut by 14%. But for Madhasami, milk price became 14 from 10. Yeah. This profited Madhasami by 30% and he cleared another 1 lakh loan. By now, Ramasami cleared his bike loan and bought personal loan of 2 lakhs for 16% interest. Ramasami bought furniture, LCD and everything for his house. But now Madhasami and laptop with that 2 lakhs. Everyone accolade Ramasamy as he bought these accessories in just two years of job. Now, Madhasamy, with his profited money, bought 12 more buffaloes. His income doubled. Again, both faced each other. Ramasamy gave doubtful smile, thinking about his personal loan. But Madhasamy gave a heart-filled smile, since he doesn't have any debt. After two years, Ramasamy got 10% salary hike after two years. He then bought a Maruti Wagonar car through car loan. Meantime, Madhasamy bought two acres of land and for his three dozen of buffaloes. Even milk prices raised to another 30% again. Now, Madhasamy income is 200% more than Ramasamy. Ramasamy owned one auto to sell milk. One more time, both faced each other. By thinking his loans in interest, Ram Sami unable to smile at all. But whereas Madhasami smiled confidently from his auto. Two years passed away. Ram Sami applied to 40 lakhs housing loan and bought one apartment. Madhasami buffaloes crossed one century. Madhasami bought two apartments. Ram Sami got 10 more percent salary hike. Milk price crossed, blah, 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 blah. That night, Ramasamy was in a deep frustration because after five years, Madhasamy is owning four crores of money, monthly five lakhs of income, provided jobs to 25 workers, but Ramasamy's salary is seven lakhs with 40 lakhs debt and unsatisfactory job. This is the balance sheet. I leave the judgment to you. Thank you so much. Whether you are nurturing Ramasamy's or Madhasamy's is up to you. Thank you very much for this opportunity.